Hey guys, Caleb Giddings here for Gat Daily. Today, we are starting off the new year right with a gun review. We are starting off with a review of a gun that I didn't realize I hadn't reviewed yet because I thought for sure I would have, but I haven't. So now we are. This is the 10 millimeter Ruger GP100 Wiley Clap Edition. First a little history on the Widely Clap editions. Ruger for a while offered several special editions of guns that were called Widely Clap models. If you don't know, Widely Clap was a well-known firearms journalist for some time, and he did offer design contributions on the original Widely Clap, which was a 3-inch 3 357 Magnum. They've since discontinued the co-branding name, but the models that are recognizable as the Widely Clap or WC versions are still available as Talo distributor exclusives every year. So what sets the WC guns apart from the regular GP100 lineup? Well, the first is they all have a three inch barrel. Three, that's three inches in my house too, guys. They all have a three inch barrel and all of them have better than normal factory sights. So the 10 millimeter version that we have here has a fixed Novak rear and a green fiber optic front, which I really, really like. I had a 357 Magnum version a few years ago, and that one had a brass bead front sight, which I like less than the green fiber optic. The reason I like the green fiber optic and the blacked out rear sight, which is fully black, is because of the sight picture that it presents that you can see right here. The way I shoot this gun is actually very similar to the way I shoot a red dot equipped handgun where I had keep both eyes open and for most shots that I would be required to make with this gun I just simply throw that green dot in the middle of where I want the round to go and I press the trigger. Over last year this was one of my primary carry guns. In fact this gun got carried quite a lot during 2020. When I would carry this gun it would almost always be in a JM Custom Kydex AIWB holster. This is this will fit an L frame or the widely clap, and it just slides right in, rides an appendix, and is actually quite comfortable. I carried this gun for an extended road trip from Miami to Minnesota to Indiana to South Carolina and back to Miami. AIWB all the time in the car, no issues. So for comfort, it is a very comfortable gun to carry. All right, now that's enough talking about the gun itself. Let's cut to the range. We'll do a couple of quick shooting drills, and then we'll come back to the studio and talk about the gun some more. Three shots, three yards, three seconds. So I have in front of me a pistoltraining.com target. I've been shooting at it. And if you look carefully, you'll see that there's one, two, three, four hits that aren't in the scoring areas, all right? I've got two low hits out of the eight inch circle and two low hits out of the head box. That's important because now we're going to shoot this from very much real world concealment, all right? I have my Ruger GP100 in 10 mil in a Galco Summer Comfort holster in a traditional IWB position because again, I recognize that not everybody wants to carry appendix, all right? So let's do very traditional three shots, three yards, three seconds. Let's see how this goes. And of course, we're using a shot timer for objective standards. All right, that was three shots, three yards, those were all hits in the down zero in 2.66 seconds. Two, four, two. Five yards, five seconds, two shots to the body and one to the head. defeated the standard. Whoop! Got a little carried away. 
was trying to have a nice spicy fast run to end with and it was 259 so it was but i missed the headshot as you can see the gun is easy to shoot well and rapidly which is important because it's a carry gun this isn't a gun that i'm going to be standing on the range thumb cocking and going shooting bullseye with it's a gun that is intended to be used for personal protection and self-defense which is why i like the chambering because it's chambered in lovely 10 millimeter and i like 10 millimeter as a carry round but i especially like 10 millimeter revolvers because they can also shoot 40 smith and wesson if you buy the right moon clips so the inherent disadvantage of revolvers chambered in semi-automatic pistol cartridges like 45 ACP or 10 millimeter is that you have to use moon clips to make them work. The factory moon clips that come with this gun work with 10 mil rounds. Absolutely. They don't work with 40 Smith and Wesson rounds. So you have to go to a third party manufacturer like TK Custom, who is I, that's the company I use for all of my clips and get your moon clips from them. Once you do that, this gun will shoot 40 Smith and Wesson rounds all day long all day strong. I have another 10 mil match champion gun, which is, has a four inch barrel, which I used for IDPA competition and shot about 2000 rounds through last year. And almost all of that was with major power factor 40 ammo using those moon clips. I've done that with this gun as well. And when I carry it, I usually carry it with federal 180 grain HSTs. The reason I use Federal 180 grain HSTs is because they print right behind the front sight at 15 yards. That's important. Having a gun that actually hits where you're aiming it is very, very important, especially when that gun has fixed sights. So Federal 180 grain HSTs and 40, phenomenal choice for this gun. A couple of things that I have done to this gun as well. I have upgraded the trigger. I put in a 12 pound Wilson Combat mainspring and left the trigger return spring the same. That results in a trigger pull that feels to my highly calibrated finger about 10 pounds. Yeah, that feels about right. The single action pull, which is completely irrelevant by the way, and has no place in self-defense use, the single action trigger pull is about a pound and a half at this point, which is actually pretty impressive. Like if you care about your single action trigger pulls, you would love to shoot this gun because the trigger pull is so very, very light. Now the question that we run into when we deal with guns like this is what's it for, right? Why are you carrying a six shot revolver instead of a 20 round nine millimeter pistol? Well, the idea when I originally got this gun at the start of 2020 was that I was going to train all year with my Ruger GP100 match champion, also in 10 millimeter, shooting 40 Smith & Wesson rounds, and I was going to go to IDPA Nationals, and I was going to finally tick that box of becoming a national revolver champion. That didn't happen because COVID happened and IDPA Nationals got canceled and I broke my arm. But the point of this gun was solid. What it did was it gave me the ability to have the exact same trigger pull and exact same sighting systems from my carry gun to my competition gun. And there are people like me who believe that's important. We believe that it is important for that when I pull my carry gun out and I actually have to go and press that trigger, that I'm familiar with the trigger pull, that I'm familiar with how the gun operates, that I can reload it efficiently. But if I am a dedicated competition shooter and all I'm doing is training to win matches and my match gun is completely different than my carry gun, I have built a deficiency into my ability to defend myself. So I bought this to partner with the 10 mil GP100 match champion. And I have to say, I am really happy with this purchase. Like I actually paid money for this gun and I, honestly really like it i carried it a ton last year i've shot it a little bit i haven't shot it a lot i'll be perfectly honest i've only shot about 300 rounds through it but almost all of that has been defensive ammo and almost all of it has been under the conditions that you saw in the shooting videos where i am shooting drills that are specifically built around self-defense so do i like the ruger gp100 10 millimeter wiley clap edition yes yes i do it shouldn't be a particular surprise that I like a revolver, and it definitely shouldn't be surprised that I like a weird revolver chambered in 10mm. I'm Caleb Giddings. Thanks for watching.